what is the basic pay of group b officer and group a officer and what is the difference between the basic pay and in hand salary upsc ies officer salary definitely it will boost your confidence it will motivate you to give what engineering services exam that is conducted by upsc hello everyone this is sanjay rathi in this session we are going to discuss engineering services officer salary allowances facilities and life style at the same time we will discuss about pay matrix what is the basic pay of group b officer and group a officer and what is the difference between the basic pay and in hand salary at the same time we will discuss about the pay matrix pay band and level okay now first of all that is my introduction myself sanjay rathi i am having 24 years of teaching experience i have qualified and selected for engineering services exam guys okay now these are my ranks air 16 in ac 2005 and air 21 in ac 2008 okay then now upsc ies officer salary remember guys it is indian engineering services commonly known as engineering services okay then this is a pay matrix for civilian employees to yahan do category hai one is what civilian and one is what military so it is about the civilian employees guys now we will discuss about what group b and group a but here it is a group c group b and what group a officers now this is group b and that is what group a officers first of all read this point that is the pay band pay band when we are moving horizontally you will get the idea about the pay band guys this is the pay, first pay band then second then third then fourth fifth sixth and what seventh now second row grade pay to so grade pay is what 4200 and this is up to this point guys now third is important that is the level 6 7 8 9 10 and it's up to what 18th level okay now what about this 1 2 3 4 and so on this is what years this is the first year of job second year third year fourth year fifth year and so on guys now if you enter into the group b post right so in first year it is a level 6 grade pay is 4200 and what is your basic salary 35400 okay 35000 and suppose you are giving exam and you enter into level 10 right that is a first in first year your basic salary will be 56100 guys now remember basic salary is not the in hand salary right i will give you the difference between the in hand salary, salary and what basic salary so that is the basic salary from for level 10 in first year 56100 and that is the 35400 now every year there will be 3% hike then guys in first year 35400 and when we are calculating on 16th or 17th year it will reach to equivalent to what basic salary of level 10 in first year guys means through promotion it will take around 16 to 17 years if you are going to start your career from this level 6 okay now we will discuss about this level 10 or what class 1 a uh, class a officers guys now focus on that so already i have given the comparison between the class b officers and class a officers right from level 6 and this is starting from the level 10 guys and within 16 to 17 years you will reach up to that payment that basic pay of class 1 officer 56100 now if your basic salary is what 56100 if you are going to start from the level 10 then what this if you are going to start from the 56100 in first year that is the level 10 then every year there will be 3% hike but with the promotion suppose you are getting the promotion then with the promotion it will switch from 56100 to what 67700 right for example you are getting the promotion after 3 years or 4th year directly you will switch 
67,700. Otherwise, every year 56,100, then 3%, 57,800, 59,500, 61,300. Or suppose you are getting the promotion at this point, so simply you will switch from 61,300 to what? 67,700. Okay. Then, again similarly, every year there is a 3% increase, but if you are getting the promotion, then it simply switch to what? 78,800. That is the basic pay. Again, there is a difference between enhanced salary and basic pay. Now, when there is a promotion from level 12 to what level 13, there is a huge hike from 78,800 to what 1,23,100 guys. Okay, so that is the hike. Now, this is the level 13 and with promotion you will reach up to what apex level. At the apex level, what is the basic salary? 2,50,000. Okay, now, now we are going to calculate the uh, what is the in-hand salary. This is the formula for in-hand salary. You can use this formula for class B, class A or for all the levels. Whether it is a level 6, level 10, level 11 or level 12. Now, first get the idea about the basic salary. For example, in level 10, in first year, what is the basic salary? 56,100. Now guys, this time the DA is around 50%. Dearness allowance is what? 50%. So, what is the 50% of the 56,100? This one, right? Now, HRA means it depends upon your city. If it is in metro, then it is around 27%. It is a two-tier city, it is around what 18% and what then 9%. So, there are three categories, X category, Y category or what Z category. At the same time, that also depends upon what? What is the DA? If it is more than 50%, then there will be change in what HRA percentage, definitely. Okay, now let we are choosing the 27% X category. Then what is the 27% of 56,100? This is the 15,147. Now transport allowance, this is 7,200. Okay, plus what 50% DA means 50% of 7,200. That is the 3,600. This is the total transport allowance. Then guys, NPS, new pension scheme. Now this is what? UPS. Okay, I will take one complete session on that. What is the difference between NPS and UPS? Okay, and this definitely that session will what motivate you. Puri nai pension scheme hai and we will discuss about that. Now guys, what is the uh, employee contribution? 10% of basic plus DA. So you can add these two basic plus DA and you can calculate the 10%. It is around 8,450. It will deduct from your salary. But remember guys, it is for you after retirement. Now the 650 rupees for central government health scheme, CGHS. Now finally what is the in hand salary? You have to add this 56,100 plus 28,050 plus 15,147 plus 7200 plus 3600. Now deduct this minus 8415 minus 650 and definitely there will be what income tax okay so after deduction you will get around 80000 to 90000 in first year in for one month okay or it may be what more than 90000 okay so this is the approximate this is called approximate calculation guys this is a handsome amount in first year then after promotion and after every year there will be hike in what basics this is the 3% or after promotion already I have given. So you can calculate this for what? Class B post also in first year. You will get the difference. What is the difference in in-hand salary of class 1 officer in first year and class B officer in first year. Then next thing allowances and perks guys. Already I have said you will get the residential quarter or HRA. Then guys dearness allowance. Leave travel allowance, LTA that is known as what LTA, official vehicle, gratuity, CGHS medical facility, provident fund, personal assistant, peon, leave encasement and what driver. But it depends upon uh, department or it also depends upon nature of work whether it is official office work or what field work but these are the facilities. Now then departments guys. 
which departments through what engineering services exam so what is the recent development irms indian railway management service for technical post for example for electrical for mechanical for civil for signal and telecommunication and stores right we have to post for this irms indian railway management service again through what engineering services definitely it will boost your confidence it will motivate you to give what engineering services exam that is conducted by UPSC. And these are the various departments, no doubt guys, in every department you are going to become what class one officer. Okay, and the pay band, pay matrix will remain same for you. Then, and what is the IES job profile roles and what responsibilities? No doubt, if you are going to get the authority, power then definitely you have to fulfill some responsibilities also then IES officers are generally required to carry out a variety of managerial and technical tasks in these jobs there will be use of your managerial skill as well as what administrative skill at the same time technical skill okay then the work of the IES officer is primarily administrative in nature along with the experience the area of supervision of the employee also increases right then project management and execution will also fall within his or her purview so these are the important points regarding your authority and responsibilities finally what are the points of where we are comparing the salary with what IES, IPS, IFS, IRS no doubt these also are what class one officers normally when we are clearing engineering services then the job is called what technocrats or these are called what bureaucrats but remember pay band will remain same again for them it will start from what 56,100 that is the level 10 and it will goes up to what level 18 so that is the starting salary of uh, IES, IPS, IFS, IRS, IES, that is the engineering services officer, don't confuse with what Indian economic services, that is the you know, commonly known as ESE and all group A services officers are exactly same. The first uh, entry of level 10 of the 7 pay CPC matrix where basic pay is 56,100, okay and you can also become what joint secretary, you have eligibility for that guys now the basic pay is not the actual salary basic pay increases by three percent per year on promotion there is a fantastic jump in pay scale already i have given from level 10 to level 11 level level 11 to level 12 and level 12 to level 13 there is a huge high okay so go through the video if you have any doubts guys then please comments if there is any suggestion then again write your comments in comments box like the session, share the link of this session and subscribe our channel. Thank you.